I can't tell you what a thrill it is to meet you, sir. I mean, well, it's, you don't meet someone every day who, who's devised a legal code that's used all over the world. The legal what? The Code Napoleon. Your code for abolishing, imprisoning men for debt, uh, ending slavery, uh, protecting women's claims on property. Those are excellent ideas. You thought of them, sir. Or at least you will. You're a fortune teller. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a... Or a spy? Yeah, a fortune teller, yes. yes. <laughs> well, Major, tell me about the future. All right, sir, I can uh, tell you just about anything you want to know. Uh, what year is this? You're a fortune teller and you don't know what year this is? Well, uh... <laughs> It's 1803. Get rid of it. Get rid of what? Uh, the, the Republic, sir. You've been thinking of changing the Republic into an empire, haven't you? Who gave you that information? Well, that's not important, sir. The important thing is that you shouldn't do it. Don't listen to Fisher Group. If, if you try to conquer Europe, you're going to fail. What else do you know about my plans? Uh, well, uh, oh, these are your brothers, aren't they? <clears throat> uh, oh, yes, you're going to turn the Batavian Republic into the Kingdom of Holland, and you're going to give it to your brother, Louis. And uh, that's an excellent idea. <laughs> you're going to turn Hanover and Prussia um, over to your brother, Jerome, and call it what, what? Westphalia. Yeah. Westphalia. <laughs> and Joseph is going to get the Bourbon throne of the two Sicilies. Why not? You're a genius. But uh, what I really want to warn you about is Russia. What about Russia? Well, the Russian campaign's a mistake. What Russian campaign? You're going to attack it. Attack Russia? Are you mad? Now, you mustn't go through it, <laughs> sir. If you attack Russia, you're going to suffer one of the worst defeats in history. Napoleon defeated? Yes. <laughs> I'm coming to that. <laughs> coming to what? Uh, uh, Waterloo. Don't fight Wellington there. If you do, you'll, you'll end up being sent to Elba. Never mind Elba. So you think it will be a mistake for me to turn Europe into an empire? A disaster. I must think about this. Well, you'll never regret talking to me, sir. We will talk again later. Join the others. There's plenty of food and drink. Yes, yes. Oh, I've uh, been meaning to ask you about uh, these wool uniforms. <laughs> Tell General Pichegru I want him immediately. Attack Russia. It would be an insanity. The man is mad. Mad or a spy? But who would have sent him? Russia, of course. <laughs> I've been thinking of Russia. A hungry iceberg waiting to destroy an unwary army. And suddenly this... Clumsy spy comes to me and tells me not to attack. Oh, why would Russia send him here to tell you that? For only one reason, my dear Bishop. It could be that the iceberg is not as terrifying as it seems. Russia must have something to fear. And it could only have something to fear if it's vulnerable. We will attack! And it shall be my greatest victory. <laughs> as you wish, sir. And what shall we do with the spy? It certainly is a pleasure meeting you, madame. Of course. <laughs> I've read a great deal about you, but I must say you're, you're much more beautiful than your paintings. Am I? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Master? <laughs> May I speak with you a moment, please? Master? Oh, yes, yeah, it's a pet name. Oh. <laughs> Would you excuse me, please? <clears throat> Pardon me. Jeannie, um, I'm busy. Hmm? So I see. Yeah, what do you want? Master, you wish to change the course of history? Yes. Well, I think you have done it. What do you mean? You have just talked Napoleon into attacking Russia. He thinks you're a spy and he's going to kill you. No, no, no. I'm sure you misunderstood oh, yes, he him. Is. No, I had a long talk with him. He was very amenable to every. Uh, now, fellas, wait. Wait, 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 wait